We're in the Sealbach Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky, on the trail of what may have been Al Capone's legendary escape route. Holy crap. Larry, have you seen this? If you look right here, you can see the wood steps on the bottom. Oh, yeah. And right there, and there's like a little bit of a cove kind of dug out. Here was the old material. That's yeah. underneath the stairs, so that yeah. wouldn't have been where the staircase would have been. It would have had to have been from about there over, which means that it would have only been about that wide. Yeah. It would have been a very narrow staircase. Was that before you were here? Did you ever see the stairs? I never saw the stairs. This is the first time I've been in this room. And it's like we're figuring out this mystery as we go. Yeah, as we go. Oh, wow, look at that. A vertical shaft from the second floor poker room into the sub-basement. There's like a little gap. It's not very big, maybe two feet. I think you could squeeze through it, though. This is freaking cool. You take the GoPro, put it up there so you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, all right, we're going up inside. <laughs> inside the ceiling from the downstairs. Up, 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 up. And there we go, it's a super tight gap. Al Capone was no featherweight. He was said to stand around 5'10 and weigh as much as 250 pounds. It would have been especially tight for someone the size of Capone, but it's possible he could have squeezed through here. We've got the stairs right there, and this, this is the wall on the other side, so we're talking maybe two feet in between, but I think a staircase could have been in there. What I'm looking for is some sort of signs of a fire. That, that black right there, that looks pretty promising to me. In 1981, a fire destroyed this section of the seal block. So if there really was a staircase here, it would have gone up in flames. But the shaft itself predates the fire. Here, look at this. Okay, that's what we're talking about. All that's been redone. You see that black there? That could have been from the old fire. There is no evidence of a staircase anymore, except for a few pieces of wood that I've discovered. This is exciting. The burned wood is compelling evidence that a wooden structure, quite possibly a working staircase, once existed here. Capone could conceivably have used it to slip down here from the poker room without being seen. These secret stairs would have led him almost directly to the Rotskeller, where he could have quickly made his way down to the sub-basement. And from there, into the tunnel system I saw earlier, where he'd have his choice of two exit paths leading to other parts of the city. This hidden escape route would have allowed Capone to move freely underneath Louisville, elude capture for years, and enable his illegal empire, worth billions in today's money, to flourish for so long. 